Good day everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Thomas Kerr and I like to get out and adventure all around Maine and New England. A lot of times my adventures bring me to the mountains, but today I am on the water. I was invited by my buddy Darren, who you've seen before if you're familiar with the channel. He invited me to come out on this trip. We are doing the Moose River Loop and it's a pretty popular spot to come and canoe. So right now we're working our way across Addian Pond and we're going to have to do a one mile portage from Addian Pond to Holeb Pond. Then we're going to make our way across there and that's where we are going to start onto Moose River. We're actually going to camp on the far side of Holeb Pond once we get over there, uh, we're pretty far across Addian Pond right now. Uh, it shouldn't be too much further and we'll be to the portage, which may be a bit of a suffer fest, we'll see. But uh, I'm excited to bring you along today on the adventure. So stay tuned, we'll see you in a little bit. made it to shore on the other side of Addian Pond. The last quarter of the trip across the pond was uh, a little rough going. The wind was directly against us, so uh, it was definitely a harder paddle than the rest of it. Uh, but we made it over here. Um, we're still making pretty good time. It's still morning, and uh, we are here at the beginning of the portage. So. We got the sign up here behind me, um, but we're gonna take a little snack break first. Kind of just take a little rest before we make the trek through the woods. I'm sure the bugs are probably gonna be out, and uh, one guy was mentioning there's a lot of trees down, so we'll see how that is. But uh, what a beautiful day to be out here. Super stoked to be doing this, and uh, keep taking you along for the ride. Uh, status on the portage, Darren? Well, uh, the canoe's heavy, and Thomas isn't carrying it by himself like he told me he would. But uh, no, it's not going too bad. Uh, it's a little warm. The bugs are they're out, but they're not unbearable so far. The trail's been decent. It's you know it's a little muddy in some places, but uh, it's not too bad. Looks like we're going to start to go uphill a little bit, and uh, just taking a quick break before then. You just got to go slow and. Take it as it comes. Alrighty, 1.25 miles later, we made it across the portage and we are now at Holub Pond. The breeze is feeling very good after uh, going through the woods and getting all hot and sweaty. 
but uh, it looks like it will be against us going across the pond, but it's uh, not as bad so far from what I can see as it was on that last stretch on Adian. So we'll see how it is. Um, we're gonna have a quick snack before we hit the water again, but uh, feeling good. It's, uh, let's see, 12.28, so still got plenty of time left in the day, and we're just gonna shoot across this pond and we're gonna camp on the other side. So uh, we got all kinds of time. This pond is a little bit smaller than Adian, so it won't take as long to get across. It took about three hours to get across Adian. It's gonna be a good day now that we have the porridge out of the way. So we have officially made it to the other side of Holub Pond. Um, we actually made it a little while ago, but we got talking to a guy over at the boat landing. Um, we now found our campsite for the night, uh, not far from the boat landing, just kind of on the other shore here. And it's a pretty nice looking spot. The plan is we're gonna get our tents all set up so we don't have to worry about that later. It's only about 4.30 right now. Um, so we have made pretty good time getting across the two ponds today. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna set the tents up, get kind of all situated, probably have an early dinner, and go do some fishing later, and probably turn in early uh, tonight because we'll be getting up early tomorrow morning. So that's the plan right now. It's time to get all set up. Big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's my big catch of the day. I'll have you know Darren is not the only one catching fish. <laughs> well friends, that concludes day one of the Moose River canoe trip. It was a really good day. Adian Pond was really cool. I loved all the mountain views. It was definitely the most scenic part of the paddle. Although difficult, the portage was not as bad as we expected it to be. 
Um, the trail was at least in good condition and the bugs were bad but they weren't as bad as I kind of had anticipated them to be so that was good. Then Holib Pond was a challenge to get across. The wind was against us the whole way um, but we made it across with plenty of time to spare so that was really good and we landed a really good campsite too. I already can't wait to be back out on the water tomorrow. So stay tuned for part two of the Moose River canoe trip. But until next time, stay inspired, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. See you later, guys.